What's going on, Aquarius? This is Crystal with One Little Crystal Tarot, and this is. Fuck. <sighs> this is your first half of July, going into mid July Terry. Okay? This is for the sun, moon, and rising signs of Aquarius. Please keep in mind that messages from this reading may or may not resonate with you, okay? This is a very general reading for the sun, moon, and rising signs of Aquarius, okay? All right, so let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Aquarius, what you got? All right, you got two of swords showing up, Aquarius, with the sword energy. Having to make an, a decision. You got the chariot, okay. Progression for movement, could be traveling. We got Queen of Cups. We got the Fool in reverse. We've got Queen of Wands. Okay. So, first thing we notice here, we got two queens on the table. All right, um, the sense here is Queen of Cups, okay? So some of you are a little emotional at this time. Um, or you're tapping in, into your intuition, your intuitive side, maybe having uh, crazy dreams or um, prophetic dreams. Um, some of you are really focused on the future, like you're really looking forward, okay? Um, but you're a little bit nervous about it. Some of you are going through mother issues or mother issues are a factor here. Um, some of you, of course, that's that's not all of you. Um, some of you are something, something with a, a mom. Some of you some of you are really close with your mom and you're having to make a decision as far as like moving further away from your mom. Let's clarify. Something with the mother figure though. Let's see. Why is Queen of Wands here? Three of Wands. A lot of fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yep, Nine of Wands in reverse. Big fire energy, y'all. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Queen of Cups here. You have Five of Swords in reverse. Uh oh. I don't take jumpers. Don't take jumpers. Let's see. Unless they like land on the table, like face up. It's it's an intuitive thing, okay. Let's see. Yes, seven of wands in reverse. 
All these damn wine cards. Y'all. All right. Two of swords. Seven of cups in reverse. All right. So, yeah. Some of y'all got a lot of options. Hold up. All right, some of y'all have a lot of options, um, and you're just not sure what to choose. Or some of you have actually made up your mind, okay, and you've turned down a lot of options. Um, with the Queen of Cups, clarified by Five of Swords in reverse. This is actually um, coming out of conflict with yourself, okay? This is finally choosing yourself, choosing what it is that you want out of life. I feel like some of you have put a lot of people before you. Um, you've, uh, yeah, put a lot of people before yourself in the past, all right? But um, I feel like some of you are choosing to actually make some, some changes. You're choosing, you're choosing change over anything. And um, like I've been saying in, these pre in my previous videos, um, there's a lot of different planets in retrograde. I believe Jupiter, Jupiter, Neptune, Mercury, Saturn, and one more, Pluto. And with all these different planets being in retrograde, it does have a f effect on us. Okay, definitely a lot of changes. Definitely a lot of heavy energy. Um, so yeah, this change that you're walking into, um, you're unsure about it as well. And I say as well because. Um, I think my last video, uh, you could be connecting with a, a Gemini. Gemini had the same thing, um, the fool being in reverse. All right. But with this change, how some of y'all are taking it, it's like you are becoming more vulnerable. You're trying to become more vulnerable, letting down your guard. Okay. Because this is something new for some of you. All right. But you're trying to get in touch with your emotions. You're actually um, progressing. Yeah, you're, you're actually progressing. You're putting down the wands like the defense you're putting down your defense for progression okay because some of you have been like in fight mode for a long time and you're like okay let me try a different approach let me try something different here let me um come at this thing a little bit differently let me try to tap into my emotional side instead of using so much logic and um see where it takes me okay i see four movement because we do have three of wands here this is I think the the right thing that you're doing like by you tapping in your intuition and trusting yourself more and letting that guard down I think that it is going to give you the results that you're looking for some of you are actually tapping into your um for for you females my Aquarius females some of you are looking very attractive right now you're taking care of yourself you're doing good okay you're looking good and you're tapping into your your goddess energy um some of you males aquarius males i feel like um you're needing to connect with your mother or mother figure more okay or you have been connecting to a mother figure more um but yeah some of you are definitely moving hold on i switched these cards around i don't like doing that throws me off yeah, but some of you are making amends and uh, moving on. Definitely moving on, okay? Whatever has been conflicting you in the past, whether it was like some self-esteem issues, insecurity, stuff like that, you know, you are finally making amends with that. Like you are letting that shit go and realizing your worth in progressing moving forward okay you are definitely gaining balance like you're not letting your emotions get in the way it's like you are becoming vulnerable and because you're becoming vulnerable some people are trying to take advantage of that but you're trying to maintain a healthy balance so that you aren't taking advantage of okay so a lot of y'all are stepping into your power good for you aquarius good for you because i think the last reading was a little rough but um some of you are definitely moving forward it's like um some of the things that that you indulged in in the past that was very like uh i guess appealing to you in, in an emotional sense you know you're growing past that it's like uh no 
this is nothing but a distraction i'm moving forward okay i'm i'm becoming emotionally available but at the same time i'm not being manipulated okay stepping into your power that's right all right aquarius that's all i have for you um for the beginning um going into mid half of july that's all I have for you. If you would like to go deeper into this reading, you can definitely hit me up for a personal reading at One Little Crystal on Instagram, or you can hit me up on my personal Facebook page at The Crystal, or you can definitely book on my business page. That's what I prefer at One Little Crystal. Okay. All right. That's all I have for you, Aquarius. You guys have a good rest of July. I love you. Peace, love, and light.